I'm after is, I'm after market penetration. See, I think everybody ought to eat this way. So we need, so what we need is we need to, as a culture, we need to look at the risk factors. What are the risk factors in food? Really attack the risk factors at food, in food and the stuff that's not a risk factor, uh, uh, you know, yeah. don't, don't worry about it. And, well, and you can spot check. Um, you know, I have no problem sending my stuff off for a sample, but I do have a problem if I'm mandated to send it off for a sample and every sample costs me $300 right. that I have yeah. to pay for. See, that's how they get you the other way. Right. And so, um, so I mean, this, this whole egg thing has, has, uh, has certainly brought home, you know, the, the ineptitude. I mean, people, they, they want your eggs to have this U.S. dub uh, seal on it. But what they don't know is that that seal is only verifying that if you call it a grade A, it is, and that if you call it a large, it is. It has. It, it doesn't even check for salmonella or any of the things that can make you sick. Well, yeah. Do, do you want uh, do you want a process oriented law or do you want to focus on results? Yeah. I mean, it, that, that's what it's all about. It, it should be results, but they're so stuck on process that you have to put up with all this uh, uh, garbage. Right. Yeah, when the, when the food police came in tried to close down our open-air processing facility, we had just had uh, graduate students at, J at uh, James Madison University um, uh, do a, a uh, culture of our chickens compared to the Tyson chickens that were in the supermarket. And um, so that it was a two-week culture, and they measured this in colony forming units of bacteria per milliliter to the second permutation. I've already told you more than I understand. But, but that, that's how they, they culture it and they measure the, measure the, the colonies. All right. And the supermarket Tyson chickens that they bought off the shelf at Tyson's, okay, at, at, at Kroger's or whatever, Walmart, um, those chickens averaged 3,600 CFU per mil to the second permutation. 3,600. Okay, that was the mean of all the samples. Ours averaged, you ready for this? 133. <laughs> now, when I presented that that lab test to the food police, to the to the guy from Philadelphia from Federal, and the head of uh, food safety in Virginia, sitting in our living room, when I presented that paperwork, they they, they, scanned, they looked at it, and they just looked up and said. Well, this isn't all that matters. <laughs> I said, well, what else? They said, well, you need, you need a bathroom. I said, why? I'm 50 feet from our house. We have two bathrooms. 50 feet from mom's house. She has two bathrooms. If I want to go number one, I step behind the tractor and go, what are you going to do about that? You know, they went down this whole litany of things, none of which has anything. I had, I had the goods. I had the proof. 25 times cleaner. Wouldn't you think that those food police would have looked at that report and said, wow, let, 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 let's embargo all industrial <laughs> processes right. today and institute a model that will get us down to 133 CFU per mil. Wouldn't, I mean, you know, if they were really interested in food safety, wouldn't you think they would do that? Uh -huh.